Hello and welcome to Partner Solution Bytes. My name is Anna and I'm joined here today by James from Accenture. Hi James. Hello there. James, I'm super excited to be talking to you to, uh, with you today because you're going to tell us a little bit about your SAP Data Lake Accelerator. Now, I've spent a lot of my career working with SAP sources, working with SAP data and trying to extract value out of that data. Um, so your solution today is, is really of interest to me. Um, can you tell us about some of the trends you're seeing with SAP customers? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, many of our SAP customers, you know, they would have data that sits outside SAP as well. And so their challenge in the, in the analytics space is how do I combine all of that data together in a way that it's easy for me to extract value from it? And so a data lake is an obvious advance, uh, is an obvious answer to that, but it comes with its own set of challenges. Um, and, you know, it's easy to stand up a proof of concept for a data lake. You know, even if you're going to include things like AI, machine learning, it's easy to try those things out. But to come up with something that's production ready, that's easy for people to use, that's secure, that's fully integrated, that takes a lot more effort. And customers are finding that it can take them as long as 12 months if they try to do it on their own. Absolutely. I've also seen uh, similar um, observations. So can you tell us a little bit more about some of the customers you've been working with? Yeah, one of my favorites is the Department of Conservation in New Zealand. They're a great group of people who, you know, they have uh, SAP for finance and asset management. And in their asset management system, they even manage things like uh, waterways and ecosystems. But they have lots of data that sits uh, outside of SAP as well. Like, for example, they have to capture data in remote locations using uh, IoT or using mobile devices that rangers take with them into the field. Um, and and the, the, one of the really cool things they've done with that is, like for example, they've, they're recording uh, audio data in the forest, and then they've trained machine learning models to be able to identify individual bird species from that. They overlay that with geospatial data, with finance data, with other data sources. It gives them a much richer understanding of those environments, and it also helps them to make better decisions about how to manage those environments. Fantastic. We are also seeing um the combination of these unstructured sources with these structured sources, like you know, typically we would see in an SAP environment, um, where customers can bring those two sources together and really extract a lot of value out of that data. So I love that that example. Now, can you tell us uh, a little bit more about um, how a customer would get started and, and more about the solution and, and how it would help those customers? Yeah, so the, the, the SAP Data Lake Accelerator does exactly what the name implies. It, it, it really helps a customer put best practice in place a lot more quickly. And we do that by um, giving customers uh, an automated path to deploying infrastructure, um, to implementing security controls, network configuration. We use things like serverless technology to eliminate repetitive uh, tasks. Um, and, and customers are able to move a lot faster to get there. So as an example, a customer could go from ideation to value in as little as three weeks with the accelerator. Amazing, so what you're really focusing uh, there is on time to value for customers. For sure. Fantastic. And so at that point, how long does it really take for a customer to, to get started and, and to uh, sort of adopt this solution? Yeah, the three weeks is really just the initial phase of getting the data lake set up so they can actually use it. But what most customers will do then is, is they'll iterate on that and they'll start to add additional data sources so they can get richer data sets together. Um, as an example, West Midlands Police in the UK, they started with four data sets and now they've expanded to 10 data sets. And one of the things that we've done uh, recently is we've built some automation for the ingestion of that data from SAP. It then publishes those configurations so the data lake can consume them and it really makes it uh, easier Easier, easier for customers to add additional data sets after the fact. So the idea is that we implement the solution for the customer by working alongside them. The, the customer can then take that and run with it. Wow, another great example. Can you tell us um, or tell our audience today about some tips um, to, to really sort of get started and start, start getting value out of their data? Well, I think for me, the, you know, the, the, the biggest lessons that we learned is that you need to focus on the people. It really is about... It's about helping people to get the value out of the technology rather than focusing on the technology itself. So, for example, if you make the technology easy to use, those rangers that are in the field are happier to do their jobs. They collect data more consistent, consistently, and then you get a better data set. And similarly, if you make uh, the data like itself easy to use, uh, what you'll find is that people will spend more of their time um, trying to extract uh, data from the value or drive actionable insights. And really what that's going to lead to is better outcomes for everybody. 
Awesome. I absolutely love that. And I think that's how we scale data and analytics through organisations as well. So thank you so much, James, for, for sharing uh, that with me and telling us a little bit more about that SAP Data Lake Accelerator uh, solution that you guys have. So thank you so much for the work that you've done with customers and, and for talking to me today. Absolutely my pleasure. If you want to learn more about the SAP Data Lake Accelerator from Accenture, then please click the link below. Have a great day.